Hello, my name is Michael Phillips and I am the Director of Education and Engagement here at Blue Bottle Coffee. And today we are doing a roundup of different pour over brewing methods. Now when you think about pour over, it is one of the most common ways to make coffee out there. However, with the right equipment and proper attention to detail, it can produce decidedly uncommon results. For our purposes today, the definition of pour over is gonna be one where you have a dose of coffee and water is allowed to come into contact with it from above and filter through by force of gravity alone. This strict physics-based definition is gonna be loose enough to let us include an automatic coffee maker alongside our manual coffee makers to give a little contrast to the range of what we're talking about. So today, we're gonna look at a range of our favorite pour over brew methods to use at home. We're gonna have the classic six cup Chemex, our very own blue bottle coffee by the cup dripper, the lovely and diminutive Hario Nell drip set, and the classic Technovorm Mocha Master KBGV Select Home Coffee Maker. With each one of these methods, we're gonna be comparing them in three different areas. We're gonna be looking at how much coffee they produce, the flavor profile of the cup that they make, and the complexity and ease of use for each one of them. The amount of coffee that a coffee maker can brew is not a hard and fast number, but each brew method does tend to have a sweet spot. And these four methods fall pretty nicely along that scale. Coming in at the least amount of coffee is gonna be the Nell Drip Set. It produces, even at a double cup recipe, around eight ounces of coffee. That's not a lot of coffee. Now, to be fair, it is probably gonna be a higher strength depending on your recipe, but this will be your smallest cup. The Blue Bottle Coffee Dripper, this is a by the cup pour over device, and it is designed to brew one delicious, perfect cup of coffee at a time at around 10 to 12 ounces. Yes, you can use a little more coffee and fill up that carafe a little bit more, brewing a slightly bigger cup, but it shines at that one cup level. Stepping up from that, we have the classic six cup Chemex. This is a great brew method if you're looking to make coffee for yourself and maybe one other person. I find 20 to 24 ounces to be a good sweet spot for this brewing device. Coming in at the top of the food chain in terms of amount of coffee is the Technovorm. The full batch on a Technovorm is 40 whopping ounces of coffee. That is a lot of coffee. However, it also has a great option where you can flip it to a half batch and do a 20 ounce, but that's still a whole bunch of coffee. So depending on your needs, whether or not you're brewing for a large group or you want a quiet meditative coffee on a Saturday morning, one of these brew methods is gonna work for you. When we talk about cup profile in relation to brew method, the area where they have probably the heaviest hand is in the texture that you get in that final cup. On the cleanest end, you're gonna see that Chemex filter with its very heavy, thick paper pulling out all of the sediment and most of the oils, leaving you with the cleanest, brightest cup. And then as you walk down, the blue bottle dripper filter would probably come next giving you a very clean cup, just not quite as crisp as you get with a Chemex. It's gonna let a little bit more in terms of oils through. And then we have the Mocha Master, pretty similar to the Blue Bottle Filter, but just a little bit thinner, maybe a pinch more texture. All of them, however, have that classic paper filtration that's gonna pull back all the sediment. A step further, however, lands you at the Nell Dripper. This is gonna produce the heaviest textured body out of all of these. A cloth filter just lets a little bit more through in the brewing process, resulting in a higher perceived body and a very silky texture. When it comes to ease of use, we've got a pretty wide range on the table in front of us with these four brew methods. On the easiest end of use is the Technovorm. You don't need any associated equipment in terms of a pouring kettle. You can probably get away without even needing a scale if you can volumetrically measure your coffee. And then it's just a matter of understanding your recipe of how much coffee to how much water, pressing that little on switch, and then it's gonna brew you up a delicious pot of coffee inside of six minutes. In the middle of the pack is the Chemex six cup and the blue bottle coffee dripper. These are very classic pour over methods. So you're gonna need some of the associated equipment in terms of a pouring kettle, a digital scale that has a timer with it. Those will help you control your flow rate, your pour pattern, things like that, building a recipe. Just because they are commonly used in the industry and you can find them in cafes doesn't mean it's easy. You're still gonna have to master a pour over technique 
that will require practice, a little bit of learning, but the resources are there, it's not out of reach, and I believe with a little bit of effort, you can handily pull that off. Coming in as the most complex brewer on the table would be the Hario Nell drip set. Now, it is going to be similar to the other manual pour over methods in that you will use a pouring kettle, you'll use a digital scale, however, it is a far less common brew method to encounter, so you may not even be familiar with what the final cup will taste like. It also tends to use slightly different recipes than you'll find with other brew methods, leaning heavier on the coffee with a smaller amount of water to produce those high strength textured cups that it's known for. But probably the most challenging part of the Nell Dripper is the filter itself. Having a cloth filter while creating a great texture also comes with a bit of maintenance. After you brew, you want to make sure you rinse it out reasonably soon after, very, very thoroughly, and then you want to store it in water refrigerated. This adds a level of complexity that some people might not be looking to add to their daily coffee routine. So as you can see, there is a lot to think about in picking the right brew method. Each one of these has its own individual strengths. The Technovorm is great for brewing a large batch of coffee with minimal need for skill or technique. The Blue Bottle Coffee Dripper is the perfect daily driver for brewing one cup at a time. Chemex is great if you got a friend coming over, brews a nice double cup batch and it tastes delicious and clean and crisp. And the Hario Nell Drip Set is one of the most unique cups of coffee you can find and it really lets you lean into experimenting with pour over technique. So hopefully all of this information is useful in helping you to find the brew method that is best for you and your situation. If you want to learn more, we do have individual reviews for each of these brew methods online. We have how-to videos as well, so go check those out. Give us a follow, and thank you so much for watching.